And we're going to talk about water and hydration levels now for a minute. Because water is vital to the smooth functioning of your body. And when we had our little one-on-one -on -one sessions last week, we might have briefly touched on hydration, uh, but I want to expand on that now. So I would like you to tell me why water is important in our body. What functions happen because we have lots of water in us? We flush out waste. We flush out waste, yes. Elimination is dependent on water. What else? Healthy skin, good, yes. What else? Cooling the body. Cooling the body, yes, definitely. Water helps with cooling our body. What else? Brain function. Brain function, huge one, good. What else? Circulatory system. Circulatory system, yes. Your blood is, has got a lot of water in it. Yes, good. What else? Decreases fatigue. Decreases fatigue, yes, good. So we've just listed maybe seven to ten different functions that require water in your body. Your electrical system, your brain and, and your, your spinal cord and, and all the nerve transmitters, they require a water environment as well in order to work. So water is really, really vital in terms of proper body functioning. When your body is dehydrated by just 5%, and you can fill in the blank on your sheet, when you're dehydrated by just 5%, your cognitive ability is going to go down by how much do you think? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. It's higher. Twenty-five? Higher. Thirty. At least thirty percent. When you're dehydrated by five percent, your cognitive ability goes down by at least thirty percent. Who has a job that involves a lot of thinking around here? <laughs> Yeah, just by being dehydrated. 5% is not even noticeable. Okay, I want everyone to look at their fingertips. Put your fingertips out in front of you. All right, and have a look at your fingertips. And if you have wrinkly fingertips, then you are dehydrated right now. And if your fingertips are nice and plump, then that's an indicator that you're fairly well hydrated at the moment. Okay, so for dehydration, the next fill in the blank on your page is dehydration is the number one cause of what? Anyone take a guess? Headaches? headaches? Mm, you're close. Fatigue. fatigue. Who said fatigue? Yes, very good. Dehydration is the number one cause of fatigue. All right, so I'd like us now to share some of the the things that we came up with, ways that we can stay more hydrated. So who would like to share one of their answers? Drink less diuretics like coffee and alcohol. Who here drinks coffee every day? Yeah, I do too. That's okay. Who here drinks alcohol once in a while? Yeah, I do too. That's okay. So those are diuretics and that means that they are going to deplete the water levels that you have in your body. So if you're drinking those things, then you want to make sure you're drinking more water, right? Good, thank you. Let's have another one. Eating more fruits that provide moisture like salads and vegetables and stuff like that. Very good, thank you. So eating water-rich foods like fruits and vegetables and salads, that will really bring up your hydration levels because you know what, those uh, fruits and vegetables are about 70 to 90 percent water in some cases, so that will definitely bring up your hydration levels. Good. Let's have another one. Drink water. Drink water. Hey, very good. As obvious as it sounds. Now who here keeps a water bottle at their desk? Anybody? Yeah? Okay. So a lot of you don't. So there's an opportunity right there for those of you who don't. Just have a little water bottle at your desk and just sip throughout the day. And you'll be amazed when you do that how much water you actually take in when it's just sitting on your desk all day long. Hey, everybody, pick up your water and have a sip right now. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Visit us online at synergeticsfitness.com.